Hey folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. Now, have you ever wanted to make your own homemade edible nostalgic video game controllers? Yeah, you have. Yeah, you have. So a couple of weeks ago, I ordered online from America uh, these video game controller molds, and actually in that time, one of my favorite YouTubers, Rosanna Panzino, has actually used them too, but they're really cool. You've got like a Mega Drive controller, a Nintendo one, and a PlayStation. I am kind of gutted that they don't have an N64 controller in there because I spent a whole year of my life playing GoldenEye with three mates. I really went AWOL with that thing. But yeah, it's a pretty cool thing indeed. I did six different versions of it and it actually turned out pretty darn cool. So uh, this is what I did. I started with a nice lemon and lime ice lolly theme one that combined Sprite with lemon and lime chunks and some fresh mint. That was looking good. I was excited about that one. I went for a gummy combination using some Haribo mix. So I had the egg, uh, some gummy style bears and a Coke bottle. I put that into a mold with some Sprite, zingy times. Then I thought I'd go a little bit old school by making up some jelly or jello, depending on where you are in the world. So I made my mix together and simply poured that again straight into my mold. And for three different chocolate twists, I melted together some milk chocolate and did a peanut M&M combo in one for a nice kinky surprise filling. And also using the milk chocolate, I added in some bashed up honeycomb and also some mini marshmallow pieces looking so good. And that one surprisingly smelled good too. Exciting times. And finally, a white chocolate one, but this time trying to give it a sort of polka dot feel uh, with some popping candy. So popping candy and melted white chocolate, looking good. Now, of course, the hard bit is putting it in the fridge or freezer to let it set. So if you're using baking chocolate in the fridge, that will set pretty darn fast. But if you're making the lollies, you'll have to wait a little longer, right? He was getting a bit impatient too. I actually left mine in the freezer overnight to fully firm up and the chocolate in the fridge just needed a couple of hours. When they came out, I was kind of happy with how the freezer ones looked, you know, they held their shape, it was nice and transparent with the gummy bears and the lemon and lime feel. The jelly one I was slightly happier with, but then I took out the chocolate ones and it just went to a whole new level. The PlayStation one, the Nintendo and the Mega Drive, they were all looking absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness guys, I think I put a little bit too much popping candy in that one. That had a heck of a kick right there. Yes, it has stopped. But when you slice it down the middle, they are looking absolutely awesome. So there we go, homemade nostalgic video game controllers. Remember with these molds, you can put them in the oven, in the fridge, in the freezer, anything you want. Uh, so let me know down below exactly uh, what you'd put in yours. Also down below is a link to where I got this. If you're eagle-eyed, you'll notice there was actually two halves to this. So I want to keep one, but this half here can go to you. So leave a comment down below on my video, anything, and I'm just going to pick out a random winner, just like we did with the square eggs recently. All right, I will wash it. 